Hello. In this lesson, we will look how do we write Russian capital letters Tz, Ch, Sh, E, U, and Ya. So they are very scary looking letters, but believe me, nothing is difficult here. And when you practice enough, you will be able to write them very smoothly, very beautifully. Let's take a look at first letter tz. so you remember that every time when I when we start to write letters I draw like kind of two horizontal two vertical lines my horizontal lines they are header and baseline and my vertical lines they are under angle it's main slant angle so this pattern will help us to keep all our letters in one row and to keep them all in one angle Okay, so how do we write capitalized capital letter T? Practically what we do, we write E. So you can review, rewatch if you want my lesson 15. So I explain you how to write E. And we write E, so one right-sided hook. And then we kind of unfinish the second hook. And we put very small descending loop, like really very tiny, like that. I know it's a little bit uh, just require practicing. You know, it's not so very difficult, but try just to practice. So once again, something like that, you know, hook, second one, and then very small loop. So pause my video, practice with this tz, um, letter, and then go back to my video and let's see how do we use this capital letter in a word. So I couldn't find any Russian names starting with Tz, like really Russian names. So I just pick randomly the word Tzirk, Russian Tzirk, which means circus. So yeah, we start with capital Tz, our loop. Now I connect my loop to E, Russian E, two hooks. You remember, very easy to write down and then vertical stroke for I finish it with a curve, so this is Russian R, and then I finish with K. We practice with K to write K in lesson seven, so you can rewatch it if you want. So this is Russian Cirque. So please pause my video and practice to write this word. This is not name, this is just word. Keep in mind the third letter is R, it's Russian R, Cirque, Cirque. So when you finish practicing, go back to my video. Next letter, it's letter Ch. Letter Ch. So you remember guys, in my lesson number 17, I showed you how to, how do we write a Russian U. You remember it's like practically English Y. So we start in the same way. What I'm going to do, I will write very, huge very big underturn like that and then i will finish it with the hook but i will finish with with the right sided hook like that so it's very easy you know it's just matter of practicing underturn hook underturn hook and i try to keep my hook like in this angle huh? you remember in my main land angle so praxis praxis uh, write this ch a couple of times, say it loudly, ch, this sound ch, and then we will look at um, Russian name with ch. So for practicing, I picked actually English name Charles. So this is Charles, like Charles Dickens or Prince Charles, if you want. So we start with capital ch like that. Then I connect my R, oval, and hook. Then I write R, stroke, cure. Now I have to connect L. This is my L. Then my L must be soft, so I put soft sign, L, soft sign, like that. And then I use pretty long connector because I need to connect my Z at the end. Ne? Z. So we practice with Z 
in my lesson what was the number my lesson three now if you want you can watch lesson three so and this is how do we write z with this descending loop so now we have charles charles so practically when we say charles we pronounce kind of s at the end but we write z charles so pause my video and practice with this difficult name write it a couple of times and say loudly pronounce it loudly keep in mind the third letter is r no? charles and then try to use soft l, l charles so when you finish with practicing continue to watch my video we have a couple of letters to cover so next letter is letter sh russian sh so you guys remember sh is very easy to write it's just three hooks and i do it in the same way when i capitalize my letter so my capital sh will be one two three hooks that it i know your the russian teacher may show you another way how to write sh, some offensive way but i think i'm absolutely happy with this sh. so practice a little bit one hook second one the third one something like that sh. keep in mind uh, try to keep the angle no they're not like completely vertical those hooks so you see they are kind of in angle the main slant angle uh practice with sh and then go back to my video and we will see how do you write a name russian name by starting with starting with this sh so the russian name shura shura is a basic form diminutive form from actually from alexander uh, sasha shura um, we start with capital sh then I connect a letter U. We'll learn how to write U in lesson number three. So here our underturn and then descending loop. Okay, now I have to put R. Okay, put vertical stroke and then curve. R. And I finish with R. Oval and hook. So this is Shura shura i know that's pretty tough to write so that's why i pause my video and practice write this word at least 10 15 times okay and keep in mind this angle must be there yeah and when you finish practicing when you think you can write it smoothly and very fast then go back to my video we have a couple of letters to cover Next letter is a, eh, the letter a. Eh. It's not ye, yeah, it's a. Eh, no? And how do I write it? I just write practically C but backwards, like that. You see? And then I put horizontal, in, exactly in the middle, I put kind of horizontal um, dash here, a little bit in fancy way, like that. So this is my a. Eh. So once again, one, two, one, two. As you see, I still keep this angle. No? So it's not stri strictly vertical, it's kind of angle. And obviously you wouldn't have to need the to drive the connector to connect this letter to the next following letter. Okay, so practice with A, it's not very difficult, but praxis. And after practicing, go back to my video and watch how do we use it in a name. The name I picked is Edic. Edic is the unit of a small form, a short form for Edward, which means Edward. Okay, so this is obviously a male name. We start with capital E, like that. Now I have to connect my E to D. Obviously, I have to use a connector like that. Then oval for D, and then descending loop. Okay, so to this loop I connect E, remember two hooks, and I finish it with K. Short vertical stroke, one curve, second one, edic. 
aedic. So please practice with this word. Keep in mind the third letter is e, ne? Aedic. Aedic. So write it a couple of times. Repeat it, say it loudly so that you can memorize all letters. And when you finish, go back to this video. We have two more letters to cover. The letter U, U, you remember dive tone, short Y and then U, U. Um, scary looking letter, but it's really easy to write, really easy to write. So what I'm doing, I start the first stroke from up to down. And then I finish it with a small hook. You remember we use this move when we wrote g, b, p, t. Many the uh, Russian letters is the same move actually. So when I finish it, I kind of use my connector, so horizontal dash, something like that, and then I add oval. And this is my U. You see? So very easy. Just practice. Yeah, I sometimes use connector. Just practice. One, two, three. So practically three moves. No? One, two, three. So pause my video and really practice with this U. Keep in mind that U is still must be in kind of angle. Now it's not vertical, it's not strictly vertical. Okay? When you finish with practicing, click again on play and watch how we are going to write a name, Russian name starting with capital U. So the name I picked is Yura. It's short form from Yuri. Uh, like Yuri Gagarin, for example, so uh, obviously male name. So we start with capital U, oval. Now I need to connect my oval to R. Obviously I use a connector, no? then vertical stroke and curve for R, and I finish with R, oval and hook, Yura. So practice with this word. Keep in mind that the second letter is R, Russian R, Yura, Yura. Okay, write it many times, repeat it loudly. And when you finish, go back to my video because the last letter, last letter is waiting, waiting for us, letter Ya. Ya. So this is pretty difficult, pretty tough letter, you remember, ya, ya in Russian means me, I, and the Russians say, remember, uh, ya is the last letter of Russian ABC, which means to not be so of high opinion of yourself, to not talk about yourself so much, but actually, it's not like completely true, because in old Slavonic ABC, me, I letter was the first letter of Russian ABC, it was us, as yes, tsar. Okay, anyway, we are here not to talk about history. Uh, last letter of Russian A, B, C. How do I write Ya? Uh, I believe me or not, I will start with the same move. We start a lot when we practice with capitalized letters with this one. You, you remember already this move, yeah? So this is a vertical stroke and then hook at the end. So next what I'm going to do, I will add an oval oval from left side like that okay so this is my kind of oval half oval and next what i'm finishing with will be my right-sided hook like that and this is my capital yeah okay so please practice i know it's tough i know it's difficult letter but manageable but doable no? once again you do like that oval hook no? You see, I still try to keep this angle. No? It's not vertical, not strictly vertical. Oval, hook. Pause my video and really practice with this. You know, like write 10, 15 times, say ya yeah loudly, okay? And increase your speed. You can, you, you have to develop kind of move, you know, kind of a uh, very smooth move and um, write it in very, very quickly, in very quick way, okay? So, and now let's take a look at a name with ya. Yeah. And then...
name I picked is named Yasha. Yasha is the immunity with small, is basic form of Yaakov, Yasha. So we start with capital Ya. You know already how to do it. You practice a lot. You're hardworking students. I know that. We finish it with this hook. Now we have to connect Sh. Russian Sh, very easy. Three hooks. One, two, three. So this is Sh. And then I finish with A. Oval and hook again. So that's it. You see, we still keep this angle. We keep our letters. Uh, obviously not the first one. We keep it between we keep them between two horizontal lines. And yeah, practice with this. Try to write this name very smoothly. I strongly recommend you guys to use, now you know how to write all capital letters, to use them to write many different words, not only names. We covered a lot of words in our lessons. And just find any Russian books, your textbook, and just rewrite many words in Russian starting always starting with capital letter you know it's kind of practicing you need to do i know it's a little bit work but i mean what is the learning of foreign language it's always work it's always kind of discipline and yeah so this concludes my lessons for uh, writing um cursive russian cursive thank you very much for your patience for your participation and uh, yeah if you want from time to time go back to my come back to my channel probably I will post something else which you will may find interesting i wish you good luck and goodbye